do you find yourself with the wrong foundation bottle all the time like you tested the product everything was okay but ukifika nyumbani your foundation aingi it's not the one it's like it doesn't it's like you tested something totally different if that is you this is the end of all that i want to show you how to identify the right shade of your foundation the right way if you want to find out more keep watching Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well. My name is Priscilla Ndanu, karibu sana hapa kwa channel Your Rebel Creations. In this video, I want to show you how to know the right foundation shade. Yes, hiyo ni shida na unanga wa sichana Nairobi wa kitembea, uso masikio shingo, hazifanani. So in this video, I want to show you how to know the right shade. Wacho kwa uliza sales lady kwa duka. Please ni say there and you're like 10 of you. I mean, they have very many people to attend to. That is not an excuse that they should not attend to you but it's important that you know what you're looking for so that it makes everyone's work easier. Ukienda kwa duka kununua foundation you find so many foundations so I have some with me over here. I have Fit Me Matte and Polish two shades 340 and 336. There you go. I also have a uh, LA Colors Truly Matte and I have two shades here. One is written cappuccino and the other one medium beige. Medium beige is the light one and cappuccino is the dark one. And then I have a Zaron brown skin foundation. This is in the shade Cottage. I have two other Zaron foundations uh then makeup kit. But yeah, so this is what I have here with me. The other things are on set. So, how do you know which foundation color is yours? I'm going to start with this one. When you're testing your foundation, chukua foundation yako Uweke kidogo tu kwa uso. I'm going to just apply like this. So what happens is when you apply your foundation, it should just blend in seamlessly. I'm just going to try to blend in with my finger and see. Hakuna chemistry. Can you see? If it doesn't blend, it's not your shade. This one is obviously a little bit too light. I could use it but for other reasons, but not as my foundation. So can you see? There. That's the first shade. I'm going to take another shade. So this is warm beige. Even though na shop kwa kwa duka, una imagine hiyo una test ya kwanza it's not the one. Pick up another one. Aha. Uh -huh. Cappuccino, I'm going to use another finger and now I'm going to apply it over here. Usieke mingi sana kidogo tu and then I'll try to blend the product in like this. I'm not putting the product on my hand because the foundation is not going to my hand. It is going to my face, my ears, my neck. I mean, the rest is just about blending. So that foundation should blend with your face and not with your hands. Like my hands for example, they are a bit darker than my body because I never used to care about sunscreen. Kitambo kidogo, so I am paying dearly, but I am working hard to get my whole body to have an even skin tone but for now let's concentrate so there you go is this my shade it sort of blends in but it's still a bit dark i could still use it but not as my foundation so i'm going to pick another shade let me rub this kidogo and uh, this is a uh, fit me 336 and i'm going to apply it adjacent to this one over here like that and then i'm just going to blend the coverage of the products is different hence you can see like this one's a full coverage and they are matte this other one on the other hand is medium coverage but it is a matte don't worry there's a whole video explaining the different formulations of foundation so you should not stress yourself so when i blend this one you can see so there's this color there's this shade and there's this shade which of these three colors is my the one that is my own shade should blend seamlessly should i give you guys a few seconds to choose <laughs> i think you can see already which of these three shades just blends completely in my skin i'm going to take another shade 340 this is cappuccino by um 
fit me now there's something i want to emphasize here notice that this is a different foundation from this one and they have the same name but having the same name does not mean they are exactly the same in terms of their consistent like in terms of the colors every product every company will name their products um the way they want to and their cappuccino could not be the other products cappuccino for example i don't know if i'm saying that name right well whatever <laughs> you get the whole idea you could find a warm beige by black opal is not the exact same warm beige by another brand that's what i'm trying to say so be careful the thing is just test don't say ah, since i use cappuccino in this one i'm also going to use the same shade in another product no 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 atazile number 1 number 2 kitambo watu walikuwa wanunua foundation hivyo i want number 1 or number 2 or number 3 or number 4 so when people ask me which one is my shade number 1 2 3 or 4 i'm like not all brands have those numbers 1 2 3 and 4 hi i've put another product here and i think you can see does it blend seamlessly Sim here i've put another product here can you see does it blend seamlessly i think it does this is a uh, 336 and 340 are so close like this is 336 and this is 340 and you can see it's a medium coverage so you can still see the tiny pores it is see but it blends into the skin like really nicely i'm now going to put my last shade when i was buying my uh, brown skin foundations to test them I bought like three shades because I couldn't really find my actual shade and even with the three shades that I got I still did not find my shade and that happens it's normal to find that there's no exact shade for you so what you can do is try to mix up the products and that's why I have three I mentioned two around set so anyway I'm blending 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 and you can see this product here is a bit lighter. When you look at my skin, my bare face, I don't know if it's clear. When you look at my bare face skin here and then you look at this and then you look at this, you can see which one looks exactly like my skin. When I look on this other side, you can see this is way light, this is a bit dark. I can use this for contouring. Naija chana sana na skin yangu, but this is also not so far. I could use this and use a powder but i think this is the one that blends in vizuri kabisa kabisa but under my eyes i'll definitely use a lighter product so that is how you test your product last but not least make sure you test the product on a wider surface when you're going to shop don't go in a, don't be in a hurry hakuna mtu anakufukuza kwa hiyo duka and i know sometimes the sales ladies are so stone cold and they're so tired and they're thinking are you going to buy or you're just wasting my time you know don't worry take your time it is your right to be in that store and it is your right to test products bila wasi wasi and i think that's why i personally prefer to shop in smaller shops because they don't have so many clients so i don't have to feel like i'm making i'm wasting the sales ladies time because you always get that feeling of am i wasting your time you know but i understand they probably have so many clients and that's also why you should know how to do your makeup because sometimes the store that is nearest could be a busy store and the sales ladies are probably so tired by the time you're walking in that store and they don't have the time to explain and show you all the things you want to be shown or answer all your questions so the easiest thing you can do is do it yourself go with your wet wipe walk with your beauty blender if you know that day you're going to buy foundation just go and test half of your face you know like that when you pack a evil pack a nuso they always have testers and if you're not sure don't buy do not try and if the lighting condition in that shop is not uh, good it's also a risk because if the lighting is not daylight like i'm filming i'm in the in my studio yeah and i have daylight here with me this is like the light that is outside so it has it gives me the true color i can see how my skin really looks like but if i do this under the yellow light or limited lighting then i will not be able to get the true color so the lighting is also very very important see evo pack a half of your face see that it blends very well and that it looks just like your complexion and then you can remove it 
you don't have to do the whole face just a quarter and you're good to go <laughs> and if you are a sales lady i mean if you sell makeup i really would just ask that you know you be a bit more kind most people don't know what they're doing and they're trying to you know just figure out what works for them i'm going to pick another shade let me use this one so that you can see the difference if i apply this uh, brown skin on a small portion of my skin it doesn't look as bad let me show you like it could blend this i'm doing this so that you can understand why it's important to work on a bigger surface when i put just a small amount you can almost think that it is my right shade but when i use the product on the entire you know my half like the half of my skin so if i blend in like that it still works especially if i'm working under my eyes so i could blend this really nicely but i must use like a darker shade of powder to blend in everything else so i'm telling you like as a makeup artist i know how i can deal with this it's not going to be much of a problem for anyone but if you're looking for your own foundation look for one that blends kabisa kabisa so that you don't have to worry about your face and your neck because i if i leave, if i use this as my shade then it's not going to blend with my neck and i'm going to be having problems and like this side everything is almost the same but this side it's a bit lighter I like the consistency, it's really nice, everything is beautiful, but I can use, as I said, a darker shade. So once I do this comparison and I'm in the store, I just take a mirror and look at my face and see, okay, I see this, I like this and this and this, and I can also see this, I like A, B, C and D, I love them. In fact, if I was to shop, I would buy the two like this so that I can use this around this area and then use this one over here on every other part of my face if you have an even skin tone like you don't have the same complexion everywhere like a darker forehead a light around you know underneath your eyes etc you would consider buying two foundations so that you can work with the darker foundation around your entire face like this and then leave the lighter product for the, the parts that need the, the lighter shade. And I made sure that I had my own hair in this video so that you can see. Your foundation should blend seamlessly into, the, into your hair. Like when you look at your hairline like this and your foundation, everything should just be the same. No, no, you're wrong. If I could wear a mask too, up and your foundation is here. I think I love this. So simple. So pretty. Yeah, so there you go. That's how you test your foundation shades.